The orchestra is an art form with no personal space. Musicians perform shoulder to shoulder to synchronize as one. When the pandemic struck, the Boston Symphony Orchestra immediately canceled its season. We have, candidly in Boston, maybe the largest audience along with Los Angeles. So in the course of a year, we've lost about $50 million in ticket sales and other earned income. How does an orchestra perform when there's no room for social distancing? You make room. Here at Boston Symphony Hall, they more than double the size of the stage. We've taken a 2,400 square foot stage and made it close to a 6,000 square foot stage. And all the string players are six feet apart. The brass section is basically in a different zip code than the strings, but somehow uh, we've learned our physics, sound and light travel at different speeds, so everyone's had to make uh, the appropriate adjustments and then we're making music again. All this is possible because 120 years ago, BSO founder Henry Higginson had the uncanny foresight to build a concert hall with removable seats. The seats are taken out for Pop's dinner concerts and even for an elite squash tournament. But no one ever dreamed these century-old seats would help the BSO face the pandemic. And one of the great ironies is we're reaching more people than we've ever reached. Nearly 20 million unique viewers since performances went online. We're touching more lives uh, with music than we ever have before. Six continents, you know, 88 countries. And so we're able to fulfill our mission. The Dallas Symphony Orchestra also got creative. We did, believe it or not, 90 concerts outside chamber musicians all around Dallas on streets, driveways, cul-de-sacs, parks. And indoor concerts with just 42 musicians. The audience is capped at 150 in a hall built for 1,800. People would shout thank you from the audience to the orchestra as they were getting off the stage, which was just so poignant. The silver lining is that someone with tickets all the way up here can now get this close to the musicians. You get angles, you get, get perspectives that you can't have in a, in a normal concert. Facing incredible challenges, the BSO and DSO are determined to come back, knowing music is more important than ever. In Boston, Janet Wu, Bloomberg News.